I always hear people talk about how we barely discovered Mars or space, or we only discovered a tiny part of the ocean, Elon Musk. or we only barely <laughs> discovered Area 51, aliens, all this other stuff. But how much of our inner man have we discovered? We really don't even know the ins and outs of our soul and our spirit. And it's very valuable. This is why the kingdom of darkness convinces celebrities to sell their soul for, fame, for fame and wealth yeah. to get money. Now, the Bible says the love of money is the root of all evil. Also saying the love of money is the root of all kinds of evil, right? So that means the love of money is the most, the most wicked form of evil, right? So that okay. puts us and that gives us a perspective of how much these evil forces want our soul. They're willing to bring us the most wicked plan they have, the most wicked form of evil they have for our soul, the love of money. Now, why does that make it seem that's, like that's the devil so and so demons and, and everybody in the kingdom of darkness lust after us so much it's like we're so special to them what's so special about us it's like these guys have no breaks they work 40 plus hours a week they don't i've ever like thought like bro why don't they stop they don't hey, stop hey, for it they hey, have they're no working hard but got working harder okay breaks and what's crazy is that. while while the devil is pursuing us we're busy pursuing the world we don't care we're pursuing the world it's almost as if the devil cares more about our inner man than we do the devil even tried to get Jesus to give up his soul for for oh, money yeah, and bro. the whole world. In Mark chapter 4, he tells Jesus, if you bow down and worship me, I will give you the, all the kingdoms and their yeah. splendor, right? That's all the world and that's all the bro, money in the world. That's so, listen, that's so dumb. That's so dumb. Like the devil, he knew literally that he was Jesus himself. He was the son of God. Okay, what is there in the world? that God cannot give to him. I, I like every time I read that chapter I think of I think about it like what was the process behind it to think that there was anything that you could give this man that he cannot have for himself. That God cannot give to him. I don't know if that makes sense. I just he, he I mean come on. Stop and Jesus that. denies it, of it's course. Okay. And he comes back in Mark chapter 8, verse 36. Yeah. And he says, what does it profit a man to gain the whole world but to lose his, his soul? soul? The easy version says, it is worth nothing for you to have the whole world if you yourself are lost. And when Jesus is teaching this, he's not just teaching it just yeah, to teach. It. He's teaching it from experience okay. because he just went through this, right? He's teaching it from common sense. It's like, it's like you having an iPhone 15. And somebody says, hey, let me buy your iPhone 15 for $1. Jesus what is like, what this? profit are you making from yeah. that? And what's crazy yeah. is what Jesus says this in Luke chapter 17, verse 21. The kingdom hey, of God is I within. I love it that he keep it biblical, okay? Okay, he keep it biblical. He has uh, his Bible open right there. We see so many people on TikTok just giving out motivational speech. They say they're Christian, but they give you just my motivational speech. But it is what it is. You don't have your Bible open. You just come and, you know, you're just thinking about it. As you go through. So I, I like that he keep the Bible open. You. That's crazy, He's right? So let's rephrase what Jesus said in Mark spirit. chapter 8. Knowing that the kingdom of God is within us. He's saying, what does it profit a man? What profit are you getting? For gaining the whole world, but losing access to the kingdom of God. See, we live in a society where we are always seeking the next external thing. Clothes, cars, shoes, jewelry. Money. Yeah. And it's cool. It's not like God doesn't want us to have nice things sometimes. But you have to realize that that there's nothing in this world that compares to what's on the inside of us. Psalms 42 and 5, David says this. Why, my soul, are you so downcast? Why are you so disturbed within me? Put your hope in God. David was always encouraging his soul, always talking to his soul when he felt down. But we live in a society today where when we feel Everyone down, when our inner man feels down, instead of instead of going to God and then talking to our souls through the guidance of God's word and the Holy Spirit, we'll we'll go on a shopping spree. We'll FaceTime somebody and vent. We'll we'll listen to Rod Wave and Summer Walker. We'll go watch a movie. And it's all to ignore what's going on in the inside of us. When was the reason we try to always like we always try to escape. We try to find our way out. Uh, that's pretty normal, and sadly, sometimes we go to worldly things to find some peace. The last time you checked in with your soul, checked in with your inner man. Some of us, our souls are immensely fragmented and broken, 
And instead of checking in, we ignore it. And this is why you see us so in yes. desperate need for healing that we'll do questionable things like buying shadow books. But God is willing to help Wait, us with is, this. Don't what is shadow books? Uh, what is shadow books? Have Ignore what's going on in the inside of you. Don't put it to the side because the same thing that you're putting to the side is the same thing that the devil wants so badly. So while we seek are seeking the world for comfort and to heal, the devil is seeking us. Imagine the almighty God himself saying that he wants where he wants to dwell, where he wants to be is on the inside of you. And it's still that right there doesn't still spark in you a journey for more, a journey to seek more than everything this world has to offer. The Bible would often call our bodies temples, temples. houses, and tents, right? So you're, you're like a house. Matthew sure. 22, 25, Jesus says something interesting that Satan knows. He says, every kingdom divided against itself cannot stand. Cannot stand. And every city or house, you or house that is divided against itself cannot stand.